Located where Central Europe and Southeast Europe meet is the beautiful country of Croatia. Known for its wine, ancient and historic architecture, breathtaking islands and the beautiful beaches that border the Adriatic Sea, Croatia has a rich history and fascinating culture. Croatia has been part of the Roman Empire, the Yugoslav communist regime, and has also housed a number of different monk hermitages over the last millennium. For many who are looking to enjoy a vacation and embrace some of the best views in Europe, Croatia makes it to the top of the list, with the island of Brač being the tippiest of tippy tops. Before you finish planning your trip to Croatia, you definitely want to make sure that you take advantage of the 10 best things to do in Brač, according to us, here at Via Travelers. And if this kind of stuff speaks to you, make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow us as we find the best things to do, some of the best vacation spots around the world. Ombrac Island is the central town of Supertar. The history of this town dates back to the Middle Ages. When you tour the town now, however, what you will find is that most of the architecture and development dates back to the 19th century, with some examples of architecture from the 16th century. It was during this time that Supertar really began to grow, thanks to its status as a fishing and harbour town. Today, this place is the flipping cutest romantic postcard town you could dream of. Supertar is still a thriving area with a population of just over 3,000. Make sure you enjoy some of the markets and local harbourside restaurants while you're out and about in Supertar. While touring the town, stop by the Church of St. Peter, which houses various paintings from the 16th to the 18th centuries, decorating the church. There's also a nifty little museum next door. One of the most fascinating things to do in Brach is to visit the Blatzer Hermitage near the Karst Caves on the southern side of the island. The Blatzer Hermitage dates back to 1551, when it was founded by two monks. This hermitage was a hidden retreat for these monks who wanted to enjoy peace and clarity for their beliefs and study in seclusion. Over the centuries, it continued to grow and develop with new monk generations until the 1960s. Today, it's home to a museum. When you visit Blatzer Hermitage, you will find that this area was successfully cultivated as a way for these monks to live sufficiently. In the gardens, there are clearings of olive groves and vineyards and room for goats. The architecture of the hermitage is largely similar, with subtle shifts with the centuries, taking on more modern features with some of the latest structures that were developed. You can access the hermitage from the road at Blatzer Cove. This extensive walking trail will lead you down into the hermitage. A traditional monastery showcasing features of the local culture, history and beauty of the area is the Dominican Monastery one of the preferred places to visit in Brach. Construction of this monastery began in 1301 and for centuries was home to hundreds of monks seeking a safe place for their lifestyle. It did undergo renovations during the 17th century due to the massive earthquake that rocked the country in 1667 and has been added to since. When you arrive, St. Dominic's statue greets guests at the top of the South Church door before entering. Visiting this historic monastery, you get to enjoy a landmark with a museum on site, detailing the history of the area and the impact it has had on Croatia. It's also a very popular wedding venue. As you tour the property, make sure you pay attention to the architectural detail found in the walls, stairwells, gardens, and archways. You can find pieces of the monastery that are of the original design and others that show remodels from the 17th century, and some more recently made in the 1970s. There is a small walkway to the Dominican Monastery located behind the Sponsor Palace, allowing a short walk and giving you a grand entrance to the monastery. Probably the most popular place to visit in Brač is Slatnirat Beach. During summer, it is usually full of thousands of Europeans on their holidays, taking advantage of the beautiful landscape found at Slatnirat Beach. Yes, you may find several thousand visitors on the beach at once, but it is large enough to enjoy your own space and comfort, for now at least. It is also known as Golden Horn Beach because of its beautiful golden sand and shape. When you visit Zlatnirat Beach, take advantage of the different water sport options. You can enjoy either windsurfing or regular old windless surfing, depending on the changing winds or tides. You'll find the latter more common in the afternoons. You can also take advantage of the area's clear waters by kayaking or renting jet skis. And if you're peckish, there are several restaurants on the coast where you can enjoy fresh seafood dishes and relax into the evening. One of the most important parts of Croatia's history is olive oil. Brač specifically has been known for its development and distribution of olive oil for several hundred years. Since 1864, guests to the area have been able to embrace this part of the culture by visiting the Olive Oil Museum. Countless components needed to harvest olives and create olive oil can be found at this location. This includes everything from the mill and press and all the tools that are needed at each stage, modern and historic. During your visit, you will get to enjoy the tasting room 
and the different oil recipes that are crafted there. Perhaps best of all is that this museum has been operated by the same family ever since it opened in the mid 19th century. Hope you're enjoying it so far. When this video is over, make sure you review the attached links we've posted at viatravelers.com for more information on any of these different things to do in Branch when you plan your upcoming visit. While you were enjoying a day at Zlatnirat Beach, you probably looked up to see the peak of Vidova Gora. Before you conclude your vacation, this is a must on the list of things to do in Brach. If you are a one hiker trip family, this is the one to take. If you're staying in Bol or the Sunsana Villa, you can walk to the Vidova Gora trailhead to begin your hike. This trail is 10.6 kilometers as a round trip, and for most hikers, averages anywhere from three to five hours. It isn't the hardest hike on the Adriatic Islands, but it is pretty moderate. Throughout the hike, you'll elevate approximately 715 meters or 2340 feet, which is a substantial uphill climb. The views that you get from this hike make it a must do for visitors to the area and arguably the most popular hiking trail in the country. In order to beat the heat and make sure you have enough time, consider starting your hike in the morning after breakfast so that you can move at your own pace. If you want a well-rounded experience of brach, gaining insight into the culture and rich history, then an afternoon in Shkrit should be highlighted. This settlement is older than any others on the island. There have been discoveries of historic artifacts in the nearby Kopatsina Caves and gravestones that date back to the medieval era. In fact, archaeologists have frequented the tiny village of Shkrit for many years, locating artifacts and pieces of history that date back to the prehistoric era. 10 things to do in brach. Shkrit Part 2. While visiting Shkrip, make sure you stop at the Brach Museum and take advantage of the different discoveries that have been made in the area. There are gravestones marked for your viewing and displays made available to show what has been discovered here. Because of its location on the island, you can literally stay just minutes away in the settlement and head over. You want to make sure that you provide ample time for viewing everything, giving yourself a morning or afternoon in Shkrip. This is the one of the most popular attractions in the area, gaining thousands of visitors annually who want to explore prehistoric artifacts and a culture that went through numerous changes over thousands of years. One of the biggest contributors to the settlements and visitors in Croatia is stone masonry, and this history is found in the world's architecture. The white stone found in Brach has been used in architecture across the world for hundreds of years, thanks to the stonemasons living on the island. In order to grasp the full depth of its impact, enjoy an educational visit to the Persiska Stone Masonry School, where the infamous Brach stone is processed before being utilized around the world. The Persiska Stone Masonry School is one of the leading schools in the industry, not just in Europe, but globally. Brach stone is found in many well-known buildings, including the United Nations building and Diocletian's palace. Students today continue to study at the Persiska Stone Masonry School, and their efforts are on display for visitors to the area. When you tour the school, you can see students actively working on projects and preparing them to be transported and then added to structures. Currently, the student body includes locals living in Brach and students from all over the world wanting to carry on the tradition. So by now you've likely discovered that Brach is just the most gorgeous island paradise that you've never heard of. Interested in one you might have heard of? One of the other Dalmatian islands found in Croatia is Hvar Island, which also has had an impact on national and European history. You can enjoy the same mild weather on Hvar Island no matter what time of year you're traveling. The various inns on the island are typically quaint, which really makes the trip just a tad more special. If you want to add to your wine tasting experience, there are several terrific vineyards and a winery on the island where you can enjoy your favorite grapey beverage. There are lots of great dining options to consider as well. If you want to head out on the water, there is also a marina with some rental availabilities. Havar Island offers the full vacation experience whilst allowing you the ability to take advantage of a quieter vacation or explore the local area after several days. If you are planning to travel to the Croatian island of Brach soon, make sure you embrace the best sights and experiences available in Croatia at this often overlooked speck of heaven in the Adriatic. If you like what we've talked about today, follow us for more tips and lists of the best things to do in other parts of Croatia and more destinations around the world. This is James saying, Go Virginia, until we meet again.